Welcome back to Home Gym Hacks and Reviews. Today I'll be reviewing the new PowerTech Compact Leg Sled. Stay tuned. Almost three years ago, I reviewed the 2019 PowerTech Compact Leg Sled. At the time, it was only my second PowerTech review, the first being the Lever Gym. In that review, I gave the machine a four out of five. I took off one point because the instructions weren't that great and the hook scraped the frame of the machine. Well, since then, my reviews have improved a little bit and so has the PowerTech Compact Leg Sled. I have always liked the design of this machine and when I compared it to the very well received PowerTech Leg Press, I gave the Leg Sled the win. And in my video ranking my top six pieces of home gym equipment out of 60, I gave the Compact Leg Sled the number five spot. Unfortunately, to have space and money for new equipment reviews, I had to sell it when I sold more than half of my home gym equipment about 10 months ago. As luck would have it, my wife gave me her old office so I would have space for new equipment reviews, and PowerTech did send me the sled for free, which is why you saw the paid endorsement watermark at the beginning of this video. Even though no money exchanged hands, YouTube wants that watermark displayed anytime something of value is received for free. Amazingly, this shipped from California to the East Coast in four days via Roadrunner Freight. When I scheduled the appointment, I was told a tractor trailer would deliver the shipment, so I was pleasantly surprised when a box truck backed up to my garage door. The driver was cool enough to pull the pallet to my front door, and you better believe I tipped him well. The pallet arrived in excellent condition, and when I got all the shrink wrap off, I could see the boxes were in perfect condition. Box one of two is the larger of the two boxes, and the packing job was exceptional. The corners of each box have additional cardboard inserts for additional stability. Everything was wrapped in bubble wrap and divided by styrofoam. I've wisened up in my older years, and rather than trying to move the whole box inside, I carried it in piece by piece. Box 2 of 2 was also exceptionally packed, with cardboard covering the machine's major articulations. This box holds the guide rails and their housing. Also, in my old age, rather than carrying the pallet back to the truck, I rolled it away on a scooter. There are three hardware packs and only a few total pieces that comprise the machine. Page one of the assembly is the mainframe, and this step only took a few minutes to complete. I like the plates that are part of the assembly as they add additional strength and stability to the machine. Also, parts of the frame and feet interlock with one another to further increase the machine stability. Assembly two is attaching the handles to the carriage, and the rod that runs through the carriage is a heavy-duty threaded pipe. The bolts for the handles tighten into pre-threaded holes which further increased the machine stability. Assembly three includes installing the guide rods, which are solid cylinders. They get inserted halfway. The carriage is then installed. Then the rods get bolted into the frame. The only portion of the assembly that ever so slightly tripped me up was having to go back and remove a bolt in order to install the hook. Assembly four is bolting on the seat and weight horns. And assembly five is connecting the foot plate. In my video comparing the sled to the leg press, I said my biggest critique for PowerTech's products is the need to improve their instructions, and their instructions have improved considerably. It took me four or five hours to assemble my first sled, and that was largely because of the machine's hook and spring design. Well, here the spring is left off altogether, and I don't miss it at all. I actually like assembling equipment, and this was easy. It only took me about two hours to unbox and assemble. The first thing I noticed when I was unboxing and assembling this sled is that all of the parts and pieces just feel more robust and heavy duty than PowerTech's older products. I've always said that PowerTech has really good quality pieces, but this has moved on to another level, and I noticed the change first with PowerTech's new Sissy Squat. I'll start at the back and work my way down. First, PowerTech has greatly improved their adjustment knobs. In some of my older videos, I mentioned they could be more user friendly and now they are with this very cool looking branded ergonomic locking pin. Next, the back pad now has three settings rather than two for greater adjustability. The 10 inch stainless steel weight horns are now angled. Thank goodness the spring is not part of this machine anymore. I know some people assemble the older model without the spring, but my brain wouldn't allow me to leave it off, so I fought with it for about four hours. Now there is a manual release handle, which doesn't negatively impact the function of the machine, it just simply makes the assembly exponentially easier. Next, there is a range of motion limiter that has three settings. My wife is four weeks out from meniscus repair surgery, and her physical therapist has allowed her to do partial range of motion leg presses, and this is where that stopper comes in real handy. 
because that automatically stops her from going any deeper than what her physical therapist would want her to go. And as her knee improves, she can move that stopper down further and further until it's not needed at all. I am a big fan of the new and larger foot plate. First, the foot plate went from 25 inches by 25 inches to now 30 inches at its widest point and 25 inches at its most narrow point. It is 22 inches long. The bottom of the plate no longer has a lip, making it easier to perform calf raises, and the top of the plate now has a lip for greater stability. Rather than two settings, the plate now has three. The calf block that is included has also gone from two settings to three for greater adjustability. With my last sled, I didn't like using the calf block because I felt it was positioned too high on the platform. Now, with all of the adjustments and what feels like a different calf block placement, this is actually a quality setup for calf raises. And just as cool, the calf block can be stored under the platform. This will give you an idea of how big the platform is. I could take a wider stance, and if I had more ankle flexibility, I could put my feet down further. Below the plate are two more of the awesome updated adjustment knobs. The guide rods are angled at 29 degrees, the same as the older models, and the equation to determine the actual weight being lifted is dividing the load by half. So for example, the machine's max weight capacity is 700 pounds. Therefore, the actual real feel is 350 pounds when the machine is loaded with 700 pounds. The carriage has a total of eight nylon bearing wheels, which increase smoothness and stability. The welds look clean and the rubber feet help to protect my floor. Here's another example of Powertech paying attention to detail and spending a little extra money to make their equipment nice. These chrome posts provide a smoother adjustment. Compare that to my Titan pieces, which are straight powder coat. The machine has a footprint of about five feet by four feet, and it's about four and a half feet tall. It's 12 gauge steel. The starting weight is 30 pounds, and the sled weighs almost 200 pounds. The carriage has three settings to fit users of various heights and to find the right starting position for either the press or the calf raise. I really like that the weight is below me when I perform this exercise, rather than on my shoulders, like if I was performing a hex squat, or above me, like if I was performing a leg press. I purchased my first compact leg sled about three years ago, and it was my first major leg machine when I moved into this house. Since then, a lot of improvements have been made, and this new model goes for $10.99 with free shipping. This is my first warm-up set on the new Powertech compact leg sled. I'm so glad to have this machine back. It is super smooth. And you hear that? Neither do I. There's no hook scraping. Warm up set number two. I removed the range of motion selector. So now you can see how deep of a full range of motion I can get. And from the day that I had this machine, I said that it was one of, if not the most lower back friendly leg machines I've ever used and it still feels that way. And now for my work set, I've loaded up the sled with 330 pounds and Powertech bumper plates. I'll do multiple sets at this weight. I really like the lip on the front of the platform. and I like the new larger platform. This is my final set. I'm going for four sets of 12 today. This machine is really giving me a run for my money today. The handle placement feels good. Super smooth. No joint pain, knees, ankles, hips, all feel good. Lower back feels good. And I've lost track. I think this is 12. Or maybe one more for good luck.
today's workout calls for lunges, and rather than putting a bar on my back or even holding on to dumbbells, I'm going to perform that exercise on the hip sled. This allows me to place all of my focus on the leg rather than my lower back, my shoulders, or even my grip. This way will probably be my work sets. The program calls for 20 per leg, two sets. And obviously I won't show all these reps or both sets. But I can tell you that it definitely feels effective. My third exercise on the compact leg sled today is the calf raise. I do not like loading my spine for any exercise including calf raises, so this machine offers a great way to overload the calves without placing anything on the back. And unlike my first compact leg sled, the bottom of this platform doesn't have a raised edge, so it makes performing calf raises on this machine perfect. Even though this machine has the calf block, I've always liked performing this exercise better on the edge of the platform. That was my first workout on the new PowerTech Compact Leg Sled. I really miss this machine and I am so glad to have it back and it is a great addition to gym number four. I can add bands to this machine pretty easily, but I would like to see dedicated band pegs and there is a hole in the lower part of the frame, which could be for that. I've asked PowerTech and I'm waiting to hear back. Numbered settings could be helpful, but I never adjust this machine once I find my sweet spot. Next, I would like to see this machine have a 1,000 pound weight capacity, but in order to do that, the machine would probably need to be bigger and then it could no longer be called the compact leg sled. I think for most people, 700 pounds will be more than enough. And other than that, I love this machine. The new PowerTech compact leg sled offers greater adjustability, enhanced features, a compact design, and three quality exercises and plenty of variations for each of those exercises. When I bought this machine three years ago, I said it was one of the greatest leg machines I've ever used and it's only gotten better. Thank you so much for watching this video. I am a PowerTech affiliate, so if any of my PowerTech videos or reviews have helped you, please consider using my PowerTech affiliate link when you make your PowerTech purchase. That link can be found in the description of this video. If you found this video helpful or at least entertaining, please consider liking the video, leaving a comment, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. You can find me on Instagram at Home Gym Hacks and Reviews. And remember, if your equipment lacks, I've got the hacks. Take care, everyone.